First off, I would like to apologize for no content for a month now on this channel. I have, surprise, surprise, once again, become burnt out with uh, politics. What else is new? What a shock, a surprise to almost nobody. As a lot of you know, I despise most of the political parties, especially the top two parties, the Republicans and the Democrats. So I'm not really excited about how 2024 is shaping up. Once again, not shocking at all. So I just sincerely apologize because I was intending on continuing to try to put out something on a weekly basis on this channel, but a week went by, then a few more weeks, and then, well, here we are a week, a month later. Eventually, I will do the uh, Civil War review whenever I get around to actually watching Civil War. I was going to go watch it in theaters, but I just never <laughs> got around to it. So I'll just wait for it to come on a, like a streaming platform, and then I'll, I'll check it out. And then eventually, I will give you my review of the Civil War movie, even though there's plenty of other reviews out there right now. But for those of you that were curious, I'll do it eventually. So let's talk about the uh, topic of this video, and I guess this is the way it's going to go for the time being. And this is similar to previous videos like this, where I'm just in a mood to talk about something. You can just call it a rant, or a ramble, or just me just discussing something specifically that annoys me. And uh, it probably will think, wander off course a little here and there. I want to talk about uh, the protesting that's been going on in the West and in the US and what's been happening as a result. Now, a lot of you know the reason why there is a lot of protesting going on is because of the uh, war between Israel and Hamas, which started on October 7th, 2023, when Hamas you know, snuck into Israel and slaughtered 1,500 people. They killed men, women, they raped women, they killed children, they killed people's dogs, they kidnapped a few people as well. And as a result, Israel declared war on Hamas. Unfortunately for the people of Gaza, Hamas happens to rule Gaza. And so, fast forward to present day, a lot of innocent Gazans have been killed because of the war. And the uh, protesters out there are programmed, brainwashed by TikTok, what else is new? to demonize Israel and anyone that happens to be Jewish for what's been going on in Gaza. That sounds kind of anti-Semitic to me. In fact, uh, like most recently, uh, legendary comedian and uh, comedic actor Jerry Seinfeld, one of my favorite shows, by the way, is Seinfeld, and I've always been a fan of his stand-up routines. He was given a speech at Duke, and some of these pro Hamas protesters just started walking out. I'm like, that's kind of disrespectful. Like, this is supposed to be a free country. Yeah, you won't sit there and listen to what he has to say. You're just going to do it because he happens to be Jewish. And that's been happening a lot on uh, major universities. And for a quick minute, it looked like the universities and uh, the police weren't going to do anything about these so-called peaceful protesters, which weren't really peaceful. They were harassing all sorts of students, even people that are not Jewish, that were just trying to go to class in order to you know pass class and study and hopefully graduate and then eventually pay off their student loan debts. They would be blocking like certain corridors, certain pathways uh, to school, to classrooms, to different buildings. I've seen lots of video about this. So they weren't just simply staying around being peaceful, asking for a ceasefire and for the war to stop and for lives to be saved. Now, look, I'm all about peaceful protesting. Absolutely. But when you start pushing on somebody else and you start acting disobediently to the laws that we have in this country and you start standing in the middle of traffic, that's when you're crossing the line. And a lot of people are getting fed up with it, finally. And let's see, we had an incident, what, in Colombia where the NYPD went in, what, a week or so ago to deal with them. And then I think something similar happened uh, out in California with the uh, LAPD. I think it was at Berkeley or was it USC? It was one of the, those colleges out there. I mean, this is happening on a lot of colleges around the U.S. And then I, I saw one incident where I think it was at, uh, once again, Columbia. And one girl 
got her degree and she literally tore it up. Like, what was the point of you going there for several years, probably putting yourself in student debt or just living off mommy and daddy's money to get a degree and then tear it up as you walk across stage, your proudest moment of your life? Pathetic. Absolutely ridiculous. And yeah, they're just pissing more people off. It's like one dude at uh, Disney World, right? There was uh, protesting going on over the weekend right outside Disney World in Orlando, and they were backing up traffic on the road. And uh, a father got out of his car, and he was pretty pissed, and he got in their face about it. And they were just like, fuck you, fuck you. And they were just, you know, just repeating the same bullshit. And he was like, look, you're, you're turning people against you. Every time you all do this across the country and on campuses, I know he didn't exactly say that, but that's the point he was making, was that every time you all do this, all you're doing is you're pissing off people and you're turning more and more people against you. And you're just doing it for clout, for attention. And you're ruining your lives for something you don't really understand. Because this, this issue between Israel and Palestine is at least a century old, but it goes back many centuries prior. So this is something that's, it just, it just keeps going on. It's an ugly cycle. And it's something I wish would stop. I value life. I value Israeli life. I value Palestinian life. I value human life. I value life in general. I am sad that so many innocent Gazans are dead because of this war, which Hamas started. But we continue to ignore that fact. And some people even go further and, and say that Hamas should have done more, and they actually celebrate October 7th. These people are bloodthirsty. Now, has Israel gone too far sometimes? I, I would say nobody is really truly innocent in war. Both sides have done things unspeakable. And the innocents are always caught in the middle, no matter what war it happens to be. That's just a, a sad reality. War never changes. It's a famous line from the uh, Fallout franchise. And people suffer as a result. Always caught in the crossfire. But once again, it goes back to Hamas. They don't demonize Hamas for, for the part they played or carrying out the atrocities against the Gazans and taking food away from the Gazans whenever food trucks are coming in from Egypt or being parachuted in. Who, who goes and snatches all the food from the starving Gazans? Hamas. And what happens to the, to the Gazans that try to get this food? A lot of them either get beaten uh, scared off or even killed by Hamas. Yet these morons, these so-called protesters, or I call them Hamas sympathizers, don't even want to talk about that. They don't want to talk about the innocent Gazans that have been mistreated and punished because of Hamas. They don't want to talk about how the LGBTQ or women are treated in these countries. And yet you have LGBTQ members waving Palestinian flags. And I just don't understand them. I know I've, I've probably talked about this before on this channel, but it just really makes you scratch your head about how stupid these fools are. They're freaking morons. Have they even went to go educate themselves as to how badly People in the LGBTQ are treated when they're found out in the Middle East. And yeah, there happens to be people that are bi, gay, lesbian, trans, queer in the Middle East as well. And a lot of them either deny what they are, they pray it, they try to pray it away, just like other religions, or they, they hide because they have no choice because if they're found out by this religious authority or that religious authority, it usually doesn't end so well for them. So yeah, I just don't I don't get how they can be supported by the very people that they demonize in their own countries. So I just I just don't understand that at all, but that just shows the lack of education that a lot of these protesters have. Now, maybe some of them are coming at it from the, the loss of human life. And yeah, that is an atrocity. It's sad that so many innocent Gazans have been killed in this war. 
But Israel didn't just decide one day to, to start attacking Gaza for no reason. If Hamas would have never attacked Israel on October 7th, then yeah, those innocent Gazans would still be alive. And so would those innocent 1,500 people that were killed at a music festival. All the women that were raped wouldn't have been raped. All the people that were kidnapped wouldn't have been kidnapped. All those that died on that day would still be alive if it wasn't for what happened on October 7th. But let's just conveniently ignore that. But yeah, going back to the protesting. I'm sorry, but I have no sympathy for what happens to these protesters. None at all. If you want to be peaceful, that's one thing. But a lot of them have not exactly been peaceful. They have been harassing fellow students and people that happen to be Jewish or disagree with them in a country where we have the right to disagree. They don't seem to respect our rights and our rules and our laws. They are guilty of vandalism, civil disobedience, and other crimes. And a lot of them are not even U.S. citizens. So why the hell are they still allowed to be in the country? If they're responsible for partaking in any of these so-called protests and being part of the, the rioting that has been happening across campuses and standing in the middle of traffic and the vandalism and, and the anti-Semitism, then they not only deserve to be kicked out of their colleges, their schools, and if they happen to have scholarship, their scholarship should be revoked. If they're not U.S. citizens, they should be deported. They should be kicked out of the United States. And this should go for any other country in the West where you have foreigners in that are doing this sort of nonsense. But it's, it's not just foreigners that are responsible. There are those on the far left that are doing it. And I think they all deserve to be kicked out of school or perhaps even brought up on criminal charges, depending on what crimes that they get found guilty of. There was one girl who was at, a, I guess, a city council meeting. I think it was, was it Berkeley or was it another town in... Uh, California. And the city council was there. The mayor was there. She was giving her a little speech. And at the end of the speech, well, even if you disagree with her speech up until a certain point, she had a right to her opinion. She had a right to say what she said until she crossed the line. And what did she do? She literally threatened the lives of the city council and the mayor. Guess what happened? She got arrested right on the spot. Stupid game, stupid prizes. That's not free speech. You are literally threatening people's lives. You threaten the mayor's life. You threaten the city council's life. You deserve what you get for that. And she was all brave and bold in her speech. Wasn't so brave and bold when she was wearing her dark gray uh, gel outfit. <laughs> She was sobbing and realizing that, oh, yeah, what you say has consequences, especially when you're threatening people's lives. But this is happening all the time on these campuses to students that don't agree with their opinion and with people that happen to be of Jewish descent or even like college students they think are Jewish that might not even be Jewish. It's ridiculous. And then the vandalism on buildings and statues, American statues of some of the founders of our country, that really pisses me off. Like you're literally shitting on my country and on those that founded my country. And my country is not perfect by any means, but it's still my country, damn it. And you want to do that crap? You don't deserve to be here. Get the hell out of here. I'm sick and tired of this nonsense. I really am. And I'm a firm believer that America is a melting pot, that most people are welcome here. We have our issues. We have our flaws. We can always do better. But I think that this nation is beautiful because of the freedom and liberties that we do have and because of how far we've come as a nation. Yeah, unfortunately, when the, the nation was founded after the American Revolutionary War, women weren't treated as equals. You still had slavery and the atrocities to Native Americans. That's just one of the ugly marks on our history that will never be ignored and should never be forgotten. 
But over time, we have tried to make this country better and truer to the ideas and principles of freedom, liberty, equality, and justice for all. Slavery ended. We had women's suffrage. We had voting rights for women. We had the end of segregation. We have openly apologized to what happened to the ancestors of the Native American tribes. We can't, we can't go back and, and stop what happened. But unfortunately, that's nothing new in human history. You look back centuries and thousands of years, this has happened. We can learn from our mistakes and do better and never forget what happened in the hopes of not repeating history. Or we can just you know put on the, the rose-colored sunglasses and just pretend it never happened. And I don't want to live in that world. Because while America is a great nation, it, it also has its fair share of flaws and some bad parts of our history. But today, it is, in my opinion, or at least it's supposed to be, a beacon of freedom, liberty, equality, justice for all. And where people should have the right to freedom of speech, as long as you're peaceful and you're not threatening other people's lives. And that's what unfortunately has been happening on these campuses and on in the streets of cities across the U.S. and blocking roads and vandalizing statues and memorials. So, yeah, most people, I believe, should be welcome here from almost all walks of life as long as you're willing to assimilate. I don't have a problem with you bringing aspects of your of your heritage and your culture to America because that's that's something that's amazing we we have Americans from all walks of life here that are proud to be American people of European descent Native American African American Asian American we have people from all walks of the world all four corners generations that come here for various reasons but today are proud Americans and follow the laws, the rule and laws of our land, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, the amendments. But unfortunately, I am concerned that there is a group that has come to our country that wants to change our laws, our rules, the foundation of our constitutional democratic republic. And if you came here to do that, then you need to leave and go back to countries that still practice those laws. Because we're not going to have those kind of laws here in the United States. So either A, assimilate and respect our laws, or get the hell out of here. Those that think they can change this country are going to be in for a rude awakening when the time comes. That's just a reality. You can't. You try, you will fail. And when you try, you will upset a lot of Americans. And those Americans will see what you're doing as a threat to our democracy and to our way of life. And if you're going to do that, eventually... We're going to kick you out. We're going to send you packing back to whatever country you came from. And good news. You can go back to that country that has Sierra Law and you can practice it there. Because it's not happening here. Because if that happens here, then everything that we fought for over the past several generations erodes away. Women's equality? Gone. LGBTQ rights? Gone. Religious freedom. Gone. Do you really want to live in a country that has a state religion? I, I know that there are those on the right and far right that wouldn't mind a certain state religion, but no, we're not supposed to be a quote-unquote Christian nation. People have a right to be Christian in this country, just like they have the right to be Jewish or Muslim or any other religion. Buddhist, Hindu, atheist, agnostic, reincarnationist. But you don't have a right to force it on somebody else. And we're not going to live in a theocracy, whether it's a Christian theocracy or a Muslim theocracy. No, thank you. I believe in the separation of church and state.
or mosque and state, or synagogue and state. I think you get the point. That's one of the beautiful things about this country. Your right to self-determination. Your right to believe what you want to believe, whether it's political or religious. But you do not have a right to try to force that on somebody else. And if you think you do, you're in for a rude awakening. So, yeah, that's how I feel about what's going on with the the pro-Hamas sympathizers that are, quote-unquote, protesting across the U.S. and other countries. Like, for a quick minute now, most of us have just kind of ignored it. Well, we haven't really ignored it. There's just nothing we're going to do about it because, you know, action equals reaction. What can we do, right? We just have to sit back and hope that eventually these universities get fed up, that the cities that these universities are in and the states get fed up and they finally do something about it. And, well, good news, it looks like things are starting to happen. Even in blue states, you know, they're getting fed up with these so-called protesters and their and their acts against the Jewish students, the Jewish community, and those that disagree with them. And if you have a problem with somebody disagreeing with your opinion, you've come to the wrong country because in this country we should always have the right to disagree. Whether you support Gaza or you support Israel, we should have a right to discuss that in a civil manner. I'm willing to meet in the middle and ask a ceasefire and stop the deaths of innocent people because I see innocent people on both sides. I saw innocent people being raped and murdered on October 7th and I've seen innocent people being killed in Gaza as well as other countries where war still happens like in the Ukraine for example and other nations as well like in Nigeria right where uh, innocent Christian Nigerians are being slaughtered by Muslim extremists. That's happening. Yet, it doesn't really get talked about much on the news for reasons. Or, you know, let's flip the script, right? Let's talk about what's happening to the Uyghurs, you know, Muslims in China, and how horrible they've been treated before someone accuses me of being a phobe, right? Because I'm, I'm playing it down the middle here. I don't like to see atrocities committed against the Uyghurs either or any other group by another faction, whether it's a religious order or an authoritarian regime. It's still wrong, in my opinion. doesn't make it right. It's sad that it's happening in this world. And you think by now, in the year 2024, this would be a thing of the past, or it would be a very rare occasion. But sadly, it feels like it's it's only getting worse and worse. And eventually, I am concerned it's, it's going to come to a head. Now, I don't know what that's going to lead to, but I do feel like action has reaction and that with everything that's been going on with these uh, protests and with these wars and with everything else in the world, I fear things are going to get considerably worse before we have any hope of things maybe getting better. But sadly, we're all along for the ride. But by all means... Continue peacefully protesting. Even if I disagree with what you're protesting about, you have a right to do it as long as it's actually peaceful, civil, respectful, and you're not threatening or harassing or attacking other people, and you're not vandalizing or worse, then you have a right to protest in the United States. But if you're crossing the line, then you're going to get exactly what you deserve.